Okay, here's some things I can tell you. Okay, number one, the best way that you're going to get more coyotes is to do everything right. Now, I don't mean uh, by using a certain call or by doing one certain thing. The best way you're going to get coyotes is to get your whole program together. Now, the one thing that helps you the most, now they all go hand in hand, but the one thing that's going to help you the most is locating them. Now you can get out there, you can get out with a howler at night, and you can howl your brains out. You can hear them kick up all over. But by morning, all those coyotes have moved. Now we do a lot of hunting when there's, when there's snow in the winter. That's when I like to hunt the most. Now make, make the best use of your time. Uh, if you hunt an area and you just hunt it over and over and over and you keep going out to one spot calling, chances are you're never going to see anything. Now, to best make use of your time is to go out and locate them. And what we find the best time to locate them is, is right after a fresh snow. If you got snow in your area and you got a, a snow coming, uh, say the weather forecast says gonna, you're going to get an inch or two inches one night. Get up really early that morning, get up a good hour before it's light, go get in your car or your truck, and go drive to all the spots that you know the coyotes hang out. Go find all the big swamps and all the farms you hunt, or all the areas of bush you hunt, and drive around and see if you can find a set of tracks crossing a road. Now if you can find a set of tracks crossing somewhere going into a spot, you know he's still in there. Because if it say snowed till, say it got light at 6 and it snowed till say 4 o'clock in the morning, and you walk in and you see a fresh set of tracks going in, you're going to know he's still going to be in there. He's going to be close enough by that he's going to hear your call. Now, when you go into a spot, everything right from when you pull your gun out of the case, when you open the car door or open your truck door, you want to do it really quiet. Like I said, they have really good hearing. And what you want to do is you want to, you want to keep the attitude that that coyote is in there and you're going in and you're going to call them out and you're going to get them. So you want to pull the gun out, you want to load your gun quiet, you want to shut the door quiet, you want to get over the fence quiet, or you want to open the gate really quiet to slip in. You want to do everything quiet. You want to take your time walking to your spot. Don't be pounding the ground. Just go in nice and quiet, sit down, wait a minute, and then you're going to start calling. Now, when you start calling, you need to start soft. Now if that coyote standing say he's just across that small field or that small clearing that you're watching and you start blaring this call and you know your your five pound rabbit sounds like he's you know 55 pounds chances are you might spook him. Sometimes they like that but what you want to do is start soft you know maybe a couple short little little bleats or something and just wait a minute and if you don't see anything coming, maybe get a little louder and a few more short bleats. And if nothing comes in, hey, cut loose. Make that thing scream. Make it sound like something's ripping it apart because that's how you're going to get them in. Now when you get one in, there's one thing I've always noticed. Now this is what I've always noticed. You'll see it in the videos. You'll see it with almost every coyote that ever comes in. You'll see a coyote. He's going to come in so far. Now this most time I've had I've had some of them pretty near run me right over, where if you know if you weren't ready you might have been the lunch, but some a lot of them will come in, and they'll come in so far, and they'll stop, and they'll take a look around, and the one thing they always do is they look over their shoulder, they want to see if anything else is coming in. I think that uh, there's such competition for the food with them, with other predators as in other coyotes and fox. They always seem to check if anything's coming up behind them. I think maybe it's because they're a thief themselves. And if uh, they're going in to steal something, let's say another fox or a coyote's grabbed, that they want to make sure that nothing's going to try and steal it from them. But if that's the reason or not, I don't know for sure. But you'll notice that they always seem to look over their shoulder. Great time to lift your gun. When he's peeking behind him, looking behind him, you get the old gun up and you get her ready when he turns back around let him have it if if you figure you can hit him from there if not you might just want to give him a little like that and to bring him in a little closer a lot of things will work but you got to remember when you start calling start soft and then get louder and when you're calling 
make your, your screams and that die off. Make it sound like something's dying. Uh, I don't know, one time I was out hunting in the woods there and I was just getting out of my truck and I just creaked the door shut so quietly. And I heard this rabbit started up in the woods across the road and something had a hold of him. He was screaming for all he was worth and it was over real quick. He let out maybe four or five squeals and a couple splats and that was it. And there was fresh coyote tracks all through there. So remember, when you go out, expect to see something. When you sit down and you start calling, you know, you might go out a couple times and you might not see anything. And uh, one day you'll get out there and you'll start calling and, oh, you might not even be there five minutes and you'll be going, ah, nothing's coming. Ah, I may as well go try another spot. You just remember something's coming. And you just tell that to yourself, something's coming. I'm just going to stay. I'm going to wait. Make sure that uh, when you go and sit at a spot that if, uh, if your call can be heard for, say, two miles or a mile or down to the next concession, that you give a coyote enough time to get there. Because wherever that coyote's coming from, it's going to take him time to get there. If he's uh, just across the field, he's going to be there in seconds. I've had spots where I've started calling and there's been a coyote right on top of me in 30 seconds. But remember that he's got to have time to get there. And remember when he gets there, remember what to do with him. And when you put all those things together, you got your good calling, your good camel, your, your good spot to sit where you can see around you, you got some swamp or some bush to call to, you can see him coming, you got your right gun set up, and uh, everything works, you've went in quiet, and you've made some pretty good terrifying calls, that's when it's going to work for you.